Hello students, welcome back to my YouTube channel PD Tutorial and today in this video I am going to prove Gauss Divergence Theorem. So firstly we are going to understand the statement and I have also uploaded the proof of uh, Green's Theorem and Stokes Theorem. You may, you may check the link in the description box. Now start with this statement. The statement is if V is the volume bounded by a closed surface capital S and F vector is a vector point function with continuous derivative in V then surface integral of F vector and cap ds is equals to volume integral of divergence of F vector dV where n cap is the outward drawn unit normal vector to capital S. So the statement is saying that there is a volume so there is, I have drawn some figure there is a volume V which is bounded by the surface capital S okay and Inside this volume, there is a vector capital F whose derivative is continuous. Okay. Then we have to prove that surface integral of F vector and volume integral of divergence of F vector is equal. And N cap is the outward drawn unit normal vector. There is any unit normal vector that is drawn perpendicular to this surface or volume. There is another statement also. You may say normal surface integral that surface is normal surface integral of a continuously differentiable vector point function of a continuously differentiable vector point function over a closed surface S enclosing a volume V is equal to the volume integral of the divergence of F vector takes over the volume V. So both the statement is equivalent. You may choose what you want. So let's start the proof. Firstly, we are going to split this continuously differentiable unit vector f1 i cap, f2 j cap, f3 k cap, give it equation 1. You may define or express any vector in this form where what we have read in the statement that the derivative of f is continuous. Okay. Then f1, f2, f3, their derivatives are also continuous where f1, f2, f3 and their derivatives and their derivatives at any point, at any point of volume V are continuous, Con continuous. Now, we can write divergence f vector is equals to del dot f vector. This is the denotation of divergence. Okay. This can be written as del is equals to what? i cap del upon del x, j cap del upon del y, k cap del upon del z. Multiply f vector. f vector is written from here f1 i cap, f2 j cap, f3 k cap. Now we are going to take a dot product of each term. We get del upon del x, f1, del upon f2 del y, del f3 del z. This is divergence f vector. Give it equation 2. So in place of divergence of f vector, as you see in the proof, we are going to write the value of divergence of f vector here and f vector in the proof. In order to prove the theorem, we have to prove, we have to prove that surface integral f1 i cap, f2 j cap, f3 k cap and unit ds is equals to volume integral del f1 del x, del f2 del y, del f3 del z, dx, dy, dz. Give it equation 3. So 
Finally, we put the value of f, f vector and divergence of f vector in this proof. So finally, we are going to prove this. Okay, instead of that, we just change the form. That's it. Okay. Now let's start with the proof. Let capital S be the closed surface such that it is possible to choose it is possible to choose a rectangular a rectangular cartesian coordinate system coordinate system such that any line parallel to any line parallel to any coordinate axis cuts as in at most two points let us understand the meaning of this statement we have written let capital s be any closed surface okay i will show you the figure yeah here as you see capital s this sphere is the surface as closed surface such that it is possible to choose a rectangular cartesian coordinate system such that any line parallel to any coordinate axis cut as at most two point if we take any cartesian coordinate system like this form rectangular cartesian system okay in a surface capital s it will cut it will cut the surface at two point here it will cut the surface here and in this place this place at two place it cut the surface s okay that's it now let capital r be the orthogonal projection of the surface of the surface capital s on the xy plane on the xy plane a line through a point a line through a point x y 0 of capital r meets the boundary meets the boundary of capital s in two points let the z coordinate of the sorry of these points be z1 is equals to f1 xy and z2 is equals to f2 xy where z2 greater than is equals to z1 so let's understand this line what I have written, let capital R be the orthogonal projection of the surface S. As you see in the figure, this surface S and this surface R. So the surface S is the, the this surface R is the orthogonal pro projection of this surface S. Orthogonal means perpendicular. Okay. And orthogonal projection on the XY plane, a line of point XY0 of R okay if if we take any coordinate in this line then the coordinate will be in this form x y 0 of r meets the boundary of s in two points if we take the coordinate at this point it meets the boundary at two points here and here as i said earlier let the z coordinate of the sorry let the z coordinate of these points be z1 is equals to f1 x y and z2 is equals to f2 x y okay Let's say the coordinate here at z1 is equals to 
एफ वन एक्स वाई वी आर टेकिंग दिस सर्फेस इन टू पार्ट लोअर पार्ट इज डिनोटेड बाई एस वन एंड अपर पार्ट इज डिनोटेड बाई एस टू द इक्वेशन ऑफ दिस पार्ट इज टू जेड वन इज टू एफ वन एक्स वाई एंड इक्वेशन ऑफ दिस पार्ट इज टू जेड टू इज टू एफ टू एक्स वाई ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन नाउ सो फर्स्टली वी आर गोइंग टू प्रूव डेट द वॉल्यूम इंटीग्रल ऑफ डेल एफ थ्री अपॉन डेल जेड डी एक्स डी वाई डी जेड वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व इट फर्स्ट देन वी विल फाइंड ट्रिपल इंटीग्रो डेल एफ टू डेल वाई एंड लाइक वाइज डेल एफ वन अपॉन डेल एक्स आफ्टर गेटिंग एडेड ऑल द थ्री इक्वेशन वी गेट इक्वल टू दिस ओके लेट स्टार्ट नाउ वॉल्यूम इंटीग्रल ऑफ डेल एफ थ्री अपॉन डेल जेड डी एक्स डी वाई डी जेड इक्वल्स टू टेकिंग दिस डबल इंटीग्रल आउटसाइड ऑन द सर्फेस आर ओके टेकिंग वन इंटीग्रल इन साइड डेल एफ थ्री अपॉन डेल डेल जेड टेकिंग द इंटीग्रेशन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू डी जेड डी एक्स डी वाई वी आर टेकिंग द जेड पार्ट वी आर इंटीग्रेटिंग विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू जेड एंड द लिमिट ऑफ जेड इज क्वेश्चन टू जेड वन टू सॉरी जेड वन टू जेड टू जेड वन इज क्वेश्चन टू एफ वन एक्स वाई एंड जेड टू इज क्वेश्चन टू एफ टू एक्स वाई ओके आई हैव ऑलरेडी मैंशन इट we are integrating this surface from here to here so we are taking the limits z1 to z2 now after solving 3 del z dx dy dz after solving we get double integral r we are integrating and differentiating this f3 at the same time so it cancel out it will become f3 x y z z1 is equals to f1 xy lower limit z2 is equals to f2 xy dx dy put the limit r f3 xy f2 xy minus f3 xy f1 xy dx dy give it equation 4 now let us denote the portion of surface capital s corresponding to z is equals to f1 xy and z is equals to f2 xy by s1 and s2 respectively which i have already make you understand we are taking the capital surface as in two parts other part one part is equation of that part is f1 xy and other part is f2 xy and and the two parts are denoted by s1 and s2 and respectively for the for the upper portion s1 let n to cap be the unit outward drawn normal vector vector normal along no normal vector making an angle gamma 2 with k cap as shown in figure so what i have written there is a portion of surface as corresponding to z is equals to f1 x1 and z is equals to f2 x y by s1 and s2 respectively and for the upper portion s1 let n2 cap be the unit outward drawn normal vector making an angle gamma 2 with k cap as shown in figure so the upper portion is denoted by curve s2 we draw 
a vector k we draw a vector k here and we draw the vector unit normal vector n cap and this is a making angle gamma 2 which is acute angle okay and if we take the surface as one the lower part and this is the k vector and we are taking the n vector here it will make gamma 1 and this portion is pi minus gamma 1 so this is the obtuse angle let's see for the upper portion s2 let n2 cap be the unit outward vector so we have taken the n2 outward vector which is making gamma 2 angle with k cap vector and which is acute which is acute angle hence gamma 2 is an acute angle likewise if ds2 is projected to xy plane then this projection then this projection dy dx of ds2 is given by dy dx is equals to cos gamma 2 ds is equals to k cap dot n cap ds give it equation 5 so what i have written next if ds2 is projected to xy plane what is dx2 this portion is dx2 this elementary portion is called dx2 if this dx2 in the xy plane is projected projected then projection dy dx of dx2 is given by dy dx is equals to cos gamma 2 ds is equals to k cap n cap ds if we take the projection of this ds2 part here then we can write ds is what surface surface is equal to dy into dx so dy dx is written in the surface r in the form of this is written from the surface integral if we write k cap dot n cap what we will get modulus of k cap modulus of unit k cap n cap cos gamma 2 they are making gamma 2 angle so the value of this one is 1 this is 1 because this is unit vector cos gamma 2 this is equals to cos gamma 2 so we can write dy dx is equals to cos gamma 2 ds is equals to k cap dot n cap ds okay in k in place of cos gamma 2 we write k cap dot n cap ds okay now for the lower portion same thing will be done with the lower portion for the lower portion which is denoted by s1 let r1 cap be the unit outward drawn normal drawn normal vector making an obtuse angle gamma 1 with k cap as shown in figure as shown in figure hence hence gamma 1 is an obtuse angle so i have already make you understand that this is the other half s1 denoted by the capital s1 and if we take the cap uh, k vector parallel to this line k vector this is k vector this is k vector we are taking a unit normal vector and cap it is making angle gamma 1 with k cap and this other half is pi minus gamma 1 and this is the obtuse angle and if ds1 is projected on xy plane then this 
projection dy dx of ds1 is given by dy dx cos pi minus gamma 1 ds this is minus cos gamma 1 ds this is minus k cap n cap ds give it equation 6 so if we take this time ds1 this elementary area is ds1 if this is projected here then this make an angle cos pi minus gamma 1 okay then dy dx is equals to cos pi minus gamma 1 ds this is solved at minus cos gamma 1 ds and gamma cos gamma 1 is equals to k cap dot n cap i make you understand earlier also okay now from equation 4 5 and 6 we have now what we have find from equation 4 this volume integral equals to this this is equation 4 this is equation 5 and this is and this is equation 6 now combining all this we get volume integral of del f3 del x dx dy dz is equals to double integral r here okay this volume integral is equal to surface integral this means double integral r f3 x y f2 okay this is equation f2 minus f3 x y f1 dx dy f2 xy is the equation of the surface s2 so it is integrated over the surface s2 f3 what we write in if we split it if we split it we get dx dy minus surface integral this is for surface s1 f3 dx dy now s2 f3 dx dy from the equation 4 we can write k cap n cap ds this is s1 f3 from the equation 6 we, we can write minus k cap n cap ds this minus minus become plus k cap n cap ds now if we integrate to if we integrate a uh, one surface in two parts after combining it will become one surface this will written as k cap n cap ds okay so similarly similarly we can find this is equals to volume integral del f3 del x dx dy dz so del f3 upon del z we get this equation give it equation 7 now we find now we similarly we find volume integral of del f2 del y dx dy dz this will become surface as f2 j cap n cap ds give it equation 8 volume integral of del f1 del x dx dy dz is equal to surface integral as f1 i cap n cap ds give it equation 9 adding equation 7 8 and 9 we get volume integral v del f1 del x del f2 del y del f3 del z dx dy dz is equals to after adding this side we get surface integral as what we will get f1 i cap this is f2 j cap this is f3 k cap close and n cap ds is common in all write it outside n cap ds so this is the proof guys this is the proof of gauss divergence theorem i hope you like this video i tried my best to make you understand in a very short period of time in a very easy way and with proper figure 
and uh, the way of expressing i just tried my best to make you understand and if you like this video please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel and thanks for watching this video